What's up? It finally happened. We got an update. I actually recorded that video already once and then I actually got to know my microphone was muted. Yeah, rest in pepperonis. Anyway, the Cologne 2015 Pick'em Challenge is there. There's a major change with the signatures of the players and much, much, much more to come. Click here for details. I'm gonna link that detail page down below, um, just if you're in case you're asking, and I'm gonna link hltv.org with the stats, with the brilliant stats that helped me going through this. Anyway, the autograph stickers, the players pick'em challenge is new, and as per usual, we know the team stickers and the team pick'em challenge. Now, what exactly, I have no idea what, how many points we exactly need. No, 75, there it is. For 75 points, you get the gold. However, in total, I think you can get 200 points in total. So the player pick'em challenge and the team pick'em challenge, they both go in hand in hand. It's not like you're gonna get two trophies for being right in the player or in the team, but you're gonna have a lot more points that you can score by actually doing both. Now. With that being said, it's really, 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 really hard to get, like, the, the player pick to like, highest headshot percentage. All right, we're going to put Scream off the table. He's got, like, 68% headshots or something like that. And, hey, yeah, we're going to put them off the table. He's, like, 20% above each, all the others. I feel like he's a safe bet in Group B. Now, we have Group A, though, TSM, Nip. We have Group C. We have, like, Navi, Titan. We have... On Group D, we have Virtus, we have Maus, we have Renegades, and we have all these great teams that can actually, and like, if one guy gets, like, just imagine that scenario, one guy is gonna get, like, one kill in the whole two maps, crash out the tournament, it was a headshot, 100% headshot percentage win. It's not gonna happen, though, but you, you know you get my drill, it's really, really unpredictable. So, with that being said, um, I'm gonna get to the point of the video, straight off the bat. Um, I can only do group, group stage day one, and I can only do day one of the group stage through four teams that I feel like are gonna go through with 2-0 without a loss, just making the group stage, making it easy, not coming across any stumbles and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go into it. You go into your menu, you have it right here, you have Counter-Strike, a beautiful Counter-Strike. Um, Cologne Pick'em Challenge 2015, you have that news. You can get the stickers, Cologne Tournament stickers, get the stickers. And then you can buy these autograph, these team stickers, you can buy directly for 92 cents. Um, that's euro, I feel like it's exactly one dollar, should be one dollar, shouldn't it? US people, if you are watching this, please tell me it is one dollar, otherwise I'm gonna stay sitting here like a stupid fool. But I feel like it's one dollar. Anyway, <laughs> the autographs, you can buy the capsules and then get your lucky pick out of there, or you can go on the market, obviously, since people who are gonna open these capsules are longing to make some profit. And they're probably gonna sell the high profile players like for instance king green scream everyone wants scream so if you don't want to waste money and be lucky and gamble on the autograph capsule just buy it off the market um i guess that's uh, that's good advice now you have these um capsules to buy from all the groups so that's probably gonna go like revenue to all the teams then the foil ones and these are gonna go to the revenue of the teams directly so if you want to support your favorite team go get the capsule. If you want to support any team out of any group, go get the autograph capsules of the groups, the foil ones. Um, they are obviously more expensive. Um, with that being said, my pick'em challenge. It looks like this, sick UI, nice stuff, well done. Um, group stage one, I feel like, I have that gut feeling, okay? Nip is not gonna play against TSM at the first map. They're gonna play the first map against, I feel, uh, Renegades, I think. So they're gonna um, grind one out there, Probably gonna be like 16, 10, 16, 9-ish. Then they're gonna be warmed up and then they're gonna win a close game against TSM. So my pick is on mid. Group B, I guess we can all agree on and we're gonna go through them. I don't think that they I gonna I don't think that King Green is gonna be individually already up to par in the first game. So I feel like Envy is gonna grind that game against King Green. Then proceed to play either Luminosity or Flipside, which is gonna end up in Envy taking it, in my opinion. I don't see no offense Brazilians, but I don't see Envy winning it against the Brazilians somewhat. Um, if they do, go, go go get at me and kill me, I don't know. But anyway, Group C is the toughest one. You see my bet Titan. I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't really know, but I have that thing that says to me that Titan is gonna be Fnatic in the first game and then they're gonna beat Na'Vi um, when they're warmed up. Group D, 
Uh, maybe my German heart speaks there, but I see Mousepods doing it again. I see Virtus winning against Carl 9, Mousepods taking uh, immunity, taking on Virtus Pro after that, and then winning against Virtus. I really have that feeling that Gabi is going to be that one guy making a difference with the preparation. Now, obviously, you see I already have two points, and that is just for playing either of these Pick'em Challenges. You can get six points for getting those right. So if I'd actually theoretically, theoretically get like two out of these eight here, right? I don't really have bronze. So it's really easy to get gold, I feel like, if you continuously play the pick and challenge. Now, for group day one with the players, highest headshot percentage. It's too close to call. I've looked at them all up. In group A, statistically, it should be Forrest or Dupree. Um, I picked Forrest because, you know, I love that guy. So let's put Forrest off the bat. I picked Forrest. Um, I believe in him, doing it. Then we have Group E. I guess we all can agree that scream. Like, unless he somehow ends up ill or something, I feel like he's gonna do it. Right? So, scream with the 68%, he's above 20% above everyone else. Um, nearly 20% above everyone else. My bets on him. Group C is already again that weird thing that Titan is going to play really well and Shox is going to like end up taking it um, by doing some crazy headshot aces, piss rounds, whatever the hell. So my bet is on Shox. Um, in Group C you can literally take any player out of Fnatic, Navi, Titan kind of. Like obviously not the AWPers, uh, headshots. We're talking headshots, not kills. So not ta don't take the AWPers, please. Don't take the AWPers. Because they are obviously, if they have the chance, they're going to pick up the AWP. They're going to get these body kills. And then headshot percent just goes down the drain. Gan down the drain. <laughs> Fuck my life. Um, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, group D. Um, it's going to be the individual's cloud nine, kind of. And uh, let's... I have my I have my, my head thinking that nothing is going to go rampage, going to go headshot, it's going to take them down. This is my picks. for Scream, Shocks, nothing. And the team pick, it's Nip, Envy, Titan, Mouse. Um, I do believe that probably 99% of you are not going to agree with me on everything. Um, or a lot of you won't probably agree on anything I did. But it's just, it's really close. It's really hard to judge when all the people, all the teams, all the players are in that run. It's probably going to get easier towards the later stages, but yeah. I'm going to keep you updated on Facebook, Twitter. Um, while I'm at the event, I'm actually going to film there. So if you want to meet up, do it. Um, I'm probably going to Twitter, Facebook or something where I am. So you can check. I'm going to link everything down below in the description. The blog where you can get the info. HL TV where you can check the stats for yourself. Um, and see, maybe do a statistical analysis. Maybe uh, Petna from HLTV.org, the stats guy. He's going to do it as well. I don't know. And uh, yeah, Facebook, Twitter, also down below in the description. Twitter is probably easiest to reach me nowadays. Um, yeah, with that being said, have fun in the Pick'em Challenge. Good luck with it. Um, hopefully we all gonna end up with gold and the, with that bit, like all the sides, the tournament is gonna be sick. So I wanna see everyone in likes. It's gonna be insane. Have fun watching the tournament. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna release a trailer as well in the coming days. So stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot of, lot of, lot of stuff coming up. Thanks for watching, take care, have a good night guys.